mid-console upgrades have always been a thing because of either advancements in technology or make one for the technology nerds. The PlayStation 5 recently announced a pro version and a lot of people are overreacting over a console that most of the population would never buy. Its criticisms are justified but most of them are just results of how economics in the state of the gaming industry has become. I personally think this product is fine for what it's aiming for, a console for wealthy people, but everyone on the internet has popped a blood cell over a piece of hardware. Nobody is fucking forcing you to buy this piece of hardware. If it was a new 3DS thing where certain games are only available on the Pro, then I do think that anger is justified. But honestly, just move forward and play that overhyped Astrobot game because the gaming industry is supposed to be this perfect place with a liberal culture that is perfect escapism. So we are going to go over the common issues that people have with a product that most of you will never get, including myself, because you hate wasting money. Speaking of wasting money, that's the first point I need to bring up. It costs over $700 and much more depending on where you're from. For a video game console, it's very expensive, but that's what you're getting into with a Pro Edition with high-end specs. I also need to bring this up, but inflation and the standard of living is also high because of supply chain issues to the fact that the economy was destroyed over the fact that we had to stop everything because everyone was getting sick. My argument to that is simple. This is totally normal and there are no laws that would state that a piece of entertainment is supposed to be cheap. Would you feel the same if you have to pay that same amount of money on other things such as tickets to a sports game or furniture? I don't think so. It's also the fact that you don't need it to live and it's only for those who can afford it or are the 1%. It's not intended to be for everyone and that is totally fine. There are other options to play video games for much cheap like the Switch or the base PlayStation 5 and that's another thing people are going to bring up. The standard PlayStation 5 is also expensive. First of all, the PlayStation 5 is in this position because it came out at the wrong time in history and the whole world is facing the consequences. If it was released at a later time, it could have a better launch lineup and it didn't have to to worry about having a PlayStation 4 version for the first several years. But the PlayStation 5 has no games! You mean exclusive software? Sure, it's less than usual because game development and interest in what is valuable also plays a role in its aspect as well. The backwards compatibility with PlayStation 4 games on the PlayStation Store helped give the PlayStation 5 so many different games for anyone to enjoy. But then I have to discuss about what a lot of people are upset about. There's no disk drive. Many hardcore gamers on the left want to let the world know that game preservation is extremely important and it should should be valued. Many of you do care, but they do not. Preservation does not make money and they need it now. Companies such as Capcom are releasing Marvel vs. Capcom games on modern consoles, but do you think that companies in the West want to allocate resources to do such a thing? They're constant layoffs and they want to focus on making the next Fortnite for this industry. Additionally, removing a disk drive would actually lower the price because it had the disk drive still in the console, then it would even be more expensive to sell. So you should now feel happier that the console is cheaper because of it. But I really think the problem in all of this is you. You have a massive fucking problem in the fact that a higher quality PlayStation 5 is more expensive. And don't even say that this is to cut loss from Concord because they don't give a fuck and want your money. You gave Sony little money in return for Concord. You can do the same thing with the PlayStation 5 Pro. I feel really sorry that you have this massive ego over a piece of technology you do not need at all. The gaming industry needs to be this perfect little thing and it will never fucking happen in a million years. If you hate something, don't support it. That's all you have to do. Don't be a bitch and have mental health issues over a fucking piece of technology that is only for the 1%. Do me a favor and do better because this type of behavior is unacceptable in modern society.